Christmas shop for someone and don't know what to get them, I know what you can get them. Get them a hat, shirt, decals, keychains, which goes to a good cause at pricecustoms.com. Get all your Christmas shopping done there. So guys, make sure you go to pricecustoms.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a super exciting video, toolbox tours. We got three boxes. We got a Matco, a red snap-on. We got the big yellow snap-on box to go through. I'm super excited. I love organizing, so you know my box, I like to have it organized. So guys, comment down below what you think about the three boxes and what would you do different. It's just me in this video because my dad, he went to the Dolly Parton Stampede. If you ever been there, comment down below what you thought of it. He's there right now. I'm here all alone doing a video for you guys. So let's hop into this toolbox tour. To get started with our toolbox tour, we got this massive, well, what I consider massive. There's people with a lot bigger boxes, but this is my massive box. Yellow Snap-on 73-inch Master Series with the hutch and overhead cabinets, which I still need to work on that one overhead cabinet. We are missing a piece, so we can't use it yet. But soon, I got to get that piece on order. But we got this one. This is our main box. We have our main stuff in it. And then to its right, we have the red Snap-on Vintage box, which I don't know what year it's from, but it's old. I mean, but it's really cool. It's not in the best shape. There's dents, stings. The drawers don't open the best, but it works good for us, and I love vintage snap-on. So this just fits perfectly with the channel. Then we got our Matco box, which I think we paid $50 for. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was $50 or $75. And um, really good box, but it's missing the handles. It only has one original handle, but hey, for the price, you can't beat it. We'll get to that here soon, but we have a video about both of these boxes when we picked it up, go back on our channel and see it because it's a really cool video. Came with some tools. So now let's get to this big box. Well, up here in our hutch, we got, of course, the TV. We got my little Christmas tree. And then I got my Snap-on collectible knives. They're uh, wrenches, but they're actual knives. And then we got our miniature box, which I got from Summit Racing. Then some Snap-on, a uh, little car. A Snap-on bat, which I picked up at the Rod Runs. Baseball cup. Our cobalt, which there's some stuff in here. And then we got our a stocking and our little figurines up here. But to get started, let's get into the main drawer everyone cares about. The socket drawer. Which I think this drawer has came a long way from where we first started. So back here we got our pink snap-on organizer. Which has our uh, half-inch metric in the back, SAE. Which the back is Cornwell. This is Pittsburgh until we can get a better set. But it's cheap. It works good. Then we got our Matco uh, Metric, Matco SE, some Cornwell quarter drives, just whatever size we had at the moment. And then in front of that, we got our Ernst Organizer Snap On Ernst Organizer. We got our quarter drive um, Metric Snap On. We got our Metric uh, Snap On 3 8 Snap On Impact right here. Then we got our uh, Mid Link Snap On SE. And then to the, I'll just keep going down this way. We got our 3 8 on this peg style. We got this, our 3 8 Icon, which I really do like their sockets. They're pretty good. I got my Icon quarter drive. A Stanley set is 12 point. I use it for intakes and stuff. We got a little torque set, which we use to work on a truck. We got our Craftsman V Series quarter drive, which we tested out in a video. So if you guys want to see that, go to our channel, check it out. Then we just got random snap on ones in this that don't make a full set. And then a Stanley 12 point as well. And then if we move on over, our half inch in regular sockets is lacking. We're missing a lot. But this organizer will be gone soon because I'm going to be adding something different. Then I got my Bonnie half inch, then two snap ons. And then these are just no name brand, but they're shallow impact. So they're good to have. And then we got some quarter drive snap on as well. Then we got our impact, uh, more impact sockets because we got a lot of impact sockets. But these right here are all, I think they are gray pneumatic. All these are gray pneumatic. And then we got our Icon Deep, which we're missing one, but we're really not missing it. I moved it over here. To, it's our half inch to this one. Because we take this uh, tray and take it and work on a car. And so until I get, order the, the yeah, that's Matco. Order the Matco half inch. Then it's going to stay there. And once I get the Matco half inch, I'll put the Icon back. And then we got an Icon 3.8 swivel sockets, which I really like swivel sockets. Because when you're in a tight area and you need to get somewhere, 
it makes a big difference. I really highly recommend those. They're not that bad price. Icon has some good sockets. Then we got quarter drive, snap-on shallows. Then just some random Pittsburgh impacts and random sockets just filling up a tray. Then we got our uh, our Torx, Pittsburgh. We got snap-on and Matco Torx. And then these are a snap-on set I'm filling out, working on filling with when we find sockets that are those sizes I've put it there. Then back there we got our SK set of swivels. I just ran out of these little things for the organizers, which if you saw our organizing video, you would know that. And then I got my Icon Metric uh, chrome set, deep and shallow. Then right here we got the, it is a Mac set of Torx. Then we got Matco SAE swivels, which these are really cool, really good. And then we got a set of uh, Matco Torx as well. And then move on to the ratchets, because that ratchets are probably my favorite tool. I just love them. So we got a blue point right here, which we picked up here recently. Two snap-on half inch. A 3-8 snap-on um, long reach, which After 5 gave this to me. Shout out to him. Then we got a swivel. A uh, 3-8 snap-on. My orange regular snap-on. Long reach green handle, which is awesome. We got the 3-8 swivel in the pink. This is a really cool ratchet. I really like it. Then we got the green and blue quarter drive, a Matco quarter drive, long reach, which this thing is really good. I really do like it. And then we got two blue points down here. This is a Craftsman. It's a gold ratchet. It was like a, they gave it to, I don't remember the story, but it's Craftsman. That's the only thing I find about it. It's really cool. And then we got a snap on. I was told this is like a military issued snap on quarter drive. Which it's really good. I haven't really used it yet, but it's really good that in the fact of I like it. And I want to use it. I just haven't had time to try it out compared to my other quarter drives. And then I got my low profile snap-on 3 8 which is awesome. Then we got this quarter drive palm ratchet. Our big cornwell. Let me step to the side so you can see. We got our big cornwell ratchet. Matco breaker bar, which is bent. We got to get that warranted out. And then we got a snap-on breaker bar. And then the gold icon. And then we have this spark plug socket for snap-on. So, I mean, I guess let's move on to the next drawer, which is our wrench drawer. Which, look at that. That looks good. Which we got snap-on back here. Two things snap-on. Our gear wrench cobalt. Gear wrench ratcheting stubbies or snap-on stubbies. Uh, blue point crescents. Snap-on crescents, which we are missing one size we haven't bought yet. We don't need that size because we'll never use it, but we might. I might try to get it if I find a good deal on one. The SK set that I'm trying to build out. We got Blue Point Supreme. We got Blue Point right here. It's missing a couple. We got a snap on uh, ratcheting, reverse ratcheting. All my snap on line wrenches of every size you need. I got our Matco double box in ratcheting. That, those are amazing. I just changed the radiator on a 2005 Dodge Ram 2500. And those came in handy. It was really good. Got the cobalt gear wrench just like on the other side. This is just metric. Metric, snap-on, stubby metric, snap-on, all full set. Gear wrench, ratcheting, and then just some random so uh, ra uh, wrenches. Sorry, Random ones we have, not full sets, and these snap-ons, of which I was my first snap-on wrench was right here. So, hey, big shout-out to that. But, guys, let us know what you think about this. Overall, I think it's pretty organized. It looks good to me. So comment down below what you think about the wrench organi organization, this drawer, the socket drawer. Comment down below because I want to know. Let's move on to the next one. This one isn't that full. It's kind of hard to get stuff in here because it's so shallow. But we got our gear wrench set right here, which it's the bit set, and it has the quarter drive sockets as well. We got the icon version. It's a lot smaller. You can take it in your pocket and go. We got our impact icon extensions, our long reach extensions of icon. We got this hyper tough breaker bar, which this thing is amazing. It's really big, works really good, not expensive at all. So I highly recommend the hyper tough pry bars. Really good. Then we got our snap on islands, one metric blue point. We got our filler gauge set snap on. This is a good set. We got the Torx icon. I got my SK. And then this is a, I don't remember what brand this is. It's hard to open up one-handed. I'm going to have to... 
I might not open that, but here's my SK set, which it has a quarter drive and it has a SK ratchet. Shout out to After Five. He sent this to me. So I've been looking for one forever, can never find one. He sent me one. I really appreciate that. And then this is a, um, I can't remember what it says. I can't see on it, but it's a cool set. I just can't open up one handed. And we got a snap on things for uh, points and then another one. So for points to sugar. And let's open up the screwdriver drawer, which is one of my favorite drawers we have. So starting out, we got our uh, orange snap on set. We got the 70th anniversary snap on set. A lot of people were uh, surprised I opened these up. I honestly was surprised as well. These are really cool. I love collectibles of Snap On. 70th anniversary. Pretty awesome. Then we got the Matco um, screwdriver set orange. Missing the Phillips. I'm thinking about ordering that here soon. Then I got the exact same set in green, but with every single one. And then beside it, we got our Cornwell, which these are really good. They're magnetic, which you can make any of them magnetic, but we just these are the magnetic ones we have. We got the Torx for it as well, Cornwell. I really love these handles. You can get a really good grip on it and turn really good. I really like these. So I recommend the Cornwells and the Snap-Ons and, of course, everything else that we have in this one. And then we got our Snap-On Nut Drivers. Love these. They're really good. Got the Icon Picks. Then we got some uh, Snap-On Picks, some Max, Snap-On, a filler gauge of Snap-On. Miniature screwdriver, not a miniature screwdriver, just a Phillips screwdriver. We got our snap on multi tool, the little carburetor, I call them carburetor screwdrivers, they're just pocket screwdrivers. We just use them for carburetor. We got snap on and Matco. We got our Tecton miniature screwdrivers, these are really cool. And then we got our snap on ratcheting, hose pick, snap on, Matco, Mac. Um, this is a really old, I don't even know the brand of this. It's really cool though. We got a mirror. The pistol grip uh, ratcheting screwdriver, which I bought at the Rod Runs. I've been looking for one of these forever. Finally found one, had to get it. Then we got two Matco pry bars, a Mac pry bar, our snap on scraper, our snap on pry bar right here. It's kind of hard to tell by the angle. Then we got um, panel poppers of the Matco SK screwdrivers and a scraper we got. And then a Matco pick. So pretty good drawer, lined out pretty good. And there's one thing, I, a couple of things I forgot to show in the top drawer I just thought of that I think are really cool. We got our Blue Point uh, uh, Spark Plug Gap Checker. Then we got this little SK Wayne. This is what I was meaning to take, show you guys. So SK Wayne Crescent. This thing comes in handy more often than you think because you can get in really tight areas. But that's what I forgot to show you up here. Now let's keep moving on. I just showed that one. Okay, this is a drawer that needs some work. It's our plier drawer and hammer drawer. Here's our hammers. We've got a ball peen, the Icon, uh, Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, Cobalt, Pittsburgh. And this little hammer actually comes in handy. I'm surprised. But it's really it's really good for tight areas. We got our wrenches right here. Never really adjustable. Don't use them much. And then moving over here, we got an old snap-on channel lock then we got a craftsman channel lock that's been in my family for a long time i cleaned it up it turned out great i absolutely love this it's more of a sentimental thing than anything but it's really good another craftsman we got our arwin vice grip ones we got our Kinepex, which are good we even got the little Kinepex, which i really do like we got milwaukee vice grips some just other cutters all kinds of vice grips needle nose crescent wrenches Right here, we got a transmission uh, tool. This is a separator. And then we got our long needle nose snap-on, which these are really good. I like these. Reaching good areas. And then we got our all of our... Oh, this is my favorite set of pliers we got. The three... There's the number if you want, want to look it up. But it's this, the slip joint, three of them. It's really cool. Really like it. Then we got another thing, a needle nose. Uh, some side cutters snap on. We picked those up not long ago. Then we got our um, snap ring plier snap on set. A snap on a uh, right angle needle nose. An icon. Let me get this out of here. An icon hose plier 
And then, uh, sock cutter, Duralast. Then we got our pickle forks. It's a Matco Snap-on and a Corvette one. And that's all for this drawer. We need a lot of work on it. I want to get more organizers. I just haven't got to it yet. If we got more organizers, this would open up a lot more and have more room for tools. So let's keep on going. In here, we got quite a bit of stuff. We got our Matco Universal camshaft bearing tool, a Matco um, freeze out plug tool, soldering gun snap on, spark plug remover for a Ford three valve, a uh, fuel pump, vacuum gauge, compression test, our ting tool set, which is really good. I recommend ting tool, they're really good. Torque angle gauge, uh, Pittsburgh, three eighths, the torque wrench, some bits, um, tap and dial set we haven't used, don't know much about it. We got our Matco heat gun, a uh, Matco, let me see what this is, I can't remember. Oh, impact uh, bit driver set. Then we got our Matco vacuum tester, Matco torque wrench, half inch, team tool, half inch torque wrench. Those are both good. This one we need to test, but this one we know is good. So, it, I recommend Tink Tools if you want to look them up. They're really good. Let's go down to our power tool drawer. So, we got a lot of power tools. And we'll start from the left. We got our Milwaukee grinder, hacksaw, right angle impact, 3-8 stubby, uh, just drill, ratchet. Then we got our blue point light, snap-on drill. Not good at all, but it came with some stuff we bought. Another drill, not good, snap-on. But it's all, but it came with a whole set of sockets, so it's worth it. Blue point die grinder, blue point three eighths impact. Our cobalt uh, blower, that thing's really cool. We got our Dewalt half inch stubby drill, impact drill, and another Dewalt drill. Three uh, hex quarter drive drills, uh, impact drills for snap on. We got our big half inch cobalt impact, which is really good. Recommend that. And then we got our just drill, hammer drill, drill, cobalt. So let us know what you think about our power tool drawer. I think it's pretty good. We got a good mix, but our favorite is the Milwaukee and D wall. And the, I like the cobalt big impact. It's really good. So let's move on to this side over here. We got our top drawer. You can have a work surface. You need to ride on something that your hutch is covered up. In here, we don't really have much. We got some random paperwork. We got earplugs, Sharpies, uh, for a fuel, uh, some type of sensor, another sensor socket. Then we got a half inch I need to restore, slider, O'Reilly's koozie that we got from the one of the car shows, PM, uh, just pins and stuff like that. That's all we got, really got in here. And I think we got some paperwork back there, but not much goes in this drawer. It's more of a just miscellaneous paperwork stuff. Below it, we got our uh, extensions. I like these Ernst organizers. I had these for a long time. That's why they're orange, because I used to have an orange box. U.S. General, but I just kept them because no reason to buy more. And I like the color orange. So we got our extensions, uh, adapters for hex. And then we got our battery terminals. And then some 3 and tape and some lights. We got this light, cobalt light, neck light, pin light. That's basically it for this. This drawer don't have that much, but it has everything we need in it. We got some blades for our knives. Got our knives, we're missing a couple. They're out in cars and stuff. We got some screwdriver bits. That's what all these are. They're flathead Phillips, then a quarter drive. And some step bits are really good. These got these carbide bits we use. And some just random bits. And then here is a bit set. And then we got the other thing for or a uh, harbor freight welder, which we don't use that much anymore since we got our Lincoln Electric. And here we got our punches. We got our snap-on chisels, blue point chisels, uh, extru screw extractor set cobalt. We got some Allens, Craftsman. Then we got a Mac Allen set, South Wires. We got uh, just punches. Basically just that kind of stuff, which this is pretty empty as well, but Room to grow. That's what we're trying to have is room to grow. And this one, we got some miscellaneous. Not miscellaneous. They're craftsman wrenches we don't use in the wrench drawer. And we got some Bonnies that are really good. They're thin, so you can get really tight areas. So we keep those in here because those actually do come in handy a lot. 
And below that, this is our electrical door where we do all of our electrical stuff. We got our multimeter, soldering, blue point, soldering iron, the spark testers, MSD thing to make spark plug. And then we got our wire stripper, which these are pretty cool. Our blue point cutters, Matco crampers. We got our, this is a Matco. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, our Matco digital um, caliper. We got our Pittsburgh digital caliper, some electrical tape, freeze out plugs. And then we got our Mac circuit LED circuit tester. A cheap multimeter in case this one fails. This one's a good one. It works good. Some more circuit testers, wire strippers, cutters. Just your basic wiring stuff, which is pretty nice. So let's move on to the next drawer. This is our engine type stuff. So we got our, to listen and see if there's an engine knock. We got our ring compressor, piston hammer, or turn the flywheel tool. A piston ring compressor. I mean, not a separator, so you can put it over. I don't think I can't think of the name right now. This is the compression Pittsburgh compression tester, distributor wrench, ring filer, timing light, which we have a new timing light it's in a different drawer. We'll show you guys in a second. This one ain't that good. Then we got this caliper, so you can uh, see the bore size and see if you need to change that. Then we got our home. So that's it for this drawer. It's more of our engine building type drawer then below that we have our air tool drawer which we got our drill our hammer drill die grinder mac and then our blue point right angle die grinder and this is a ball joint set has different things like pickle fork and everything we got a mac compression test kit and then some which is really nice i'll open up in a second we got some air hammer bits let me open this up it's a very nice set yeah look how nice that is mac compression tester i mean it's brand new has new seals excited to use this and upgrade well i mean we have multiple we have a snap on i think mac now or mac co it might have been we have a couple of them so now we have even more because multiple vehicles you can do it at the same time then we got our brake tool drawer this one we got where you can vacuum out for your brakes, like bleed them. Some spring tools, more spring tools. I ain't got anything behind that. Double flare kit from After Five, a Matco flaring, double flaring, and then for brake drums, and then a compressor and a tube bender for brake lines, and a caliper compressor. Those are really good. Glad we have that. And then moving back up to the top, with this cobalt we have in this one, because this is functional, we have our remote to the TV, first aid kit from Lowe's, and then in this one, we have a wrench set, a miniature wrench set. So we have, I haven't used these yet, but it is a cool find, so I'll throw them in here because they're miniature. And then we got our blue point temperature gun. You see how cold it is in here. It's 48 degrees. I'm freezing. That's a good thing to have. And that's basically it for this box up here. We got our... We got some more, uh, like, bit, like, sets of um, brushes and stuff, welding helmets, and our bag up there that we take on the go. And that's it for the yellow box. So, guys, comment down below what you think about this box. I got my little Coke... A little cooler up there. Shout out to my mamaw for giving that to me. It's pretty cool. So let's move on to the red box. So on top of the red box, we got our catalog, which I got sent in the mail. I keep it in here in case I want to look at something. But we got our ultrasonic cleaner from Harbor Freight. Highly recommend. Really good. We got our snap-on charger, drill press, and then in here we'll open up this door. Up top we got just uh, chisels, files. Uh, Allen's pins, a measuring tape, and that's basically it in this one. And down in this one, this is all miscellaneous stuff, GoPro accessories, and I mean just miscellaneous, like random chucks and stuff. 
And then this is just cases that we have left over. We just throw them in there. And starting up in this one, this is where we keep like our uh, heat shrinks, cotter pins, nuts and bolts, uh, washers, all kinds of stuff, clamps. And then our pins that we're going to be putting on the Nova we got from the rod runs. These are pretty cool. I think we're going to use them on the the Nova's trunk because the latch is messed up. And then here we got rubber grommets, gasket makers, some spark plugs, lug nuts, tape, oil, tool, lubricant, uh, tape for uh, airlines, and some differential stuff. All like lubing up stuff and then we got springs locks and stuff like that pretty good to have a drawer just dedicated to that and then in here we got our extra ratchets we got my craftsman's we got a proto we got sk we got icon craftsman v-series all kinds of icon uh craftsman breaker bar pittsburgh breaker bar and then this miscellaneous, our gold painted ratchet we painted ourselves. These drawers don't shut the best, but they still work. We got this for on the go in case we need to just take something to a car real quick. Just a Craftsman's 3 8 set. We use it a little bit just on the road type stuff. We don't feel like carrying around a big thing. Then we got some more air tools. Uh, we got our quarter drive snap on. Um, impact gun which is no name brand harbor freight uh, air punch flange tool tire reader bo uh, body saw right angle die grinder which this one i do not like it just don't work that good we got our snap on blow gun another one air nozzle just random air fittings and stuff like that then this one we got body hammers the uh the dollies and everything you need for just body work with a hammer. We got it all in there instead of having it in the case. And then in here we got a, a Dewalt half inch set, a Craftsman half inch set for on the go, and then a air filter regulator. We got to install in our compressor. So let's move on to the Matco, which I really do like this box a lot. It's really handy. We got more um, earplugs or turbo towels. All of our safety glasses, stuff like that, because we always misplace them. Now we got a spot for them. Some gloves we keep here. Then we got drill bits for quick access. We got some pry bars right here. Panel poppers, these plastic ones aren't good at all. Then we got my a camshaft for 289-302 forward, which we're just keeping. It's going to be good to add to maybe the Mustang one day. Let us know down below. Then we got some more panel poppers. These are a lot better than the plastic ones. We got them all along through here. And this one, we got our uh, oil filter wrenches. We got a Blue Point. This, I don't know these brands. We got these cobalt strap wrenches, which is really good. A pinned right on it when you change your oil. That drawer is just for changing oil. And this one, we got another temp gun. I don't think this one has batteries in it. We got to get batteries for it, but we got the Blue Point one. Another snap-on soldering gun. More mirrors. This one's a little broke, but it's fine. Fuel line stuff. A specialty socket for AC, Matco. And then this tape for uh, figuring out uh, timing stuff. Like your belts and everything. This is our secondary screwdriver drawer. We got our Craftsman set. Milwaukee, these two files. This. Um, then our Cobalt set. Cobalt scraper or Tecton high torque screwdrivers, which these are really good. I like the grip on, they feel really good. And then some random uh, quarter drive and then Klein, uh, Pittsburgh bits, I mean, not bits, picks, a Milwaukee quarter drive um, screwdriver, miniatures, not miniature, but the electronic screwdrivers, that's what I'm thinking of. And then some Allen's for this one. And then in this one, a cobalt set bought it super cheap don't like it because of that right there like i just do not like that at all but it's there in case we need it we got our bore scope we got our uh, mac uh chisel set with striking chisel set pretty cool and then here's the timing light i was telling you about our new one 
We got the Matco uh, timing glock. Here's the number. We're excited to use that. We're going to be using it on the Mustang, get it timed up and ready for the road. So that's our toolboxes. Let us know what you think about it because I like it. I think it's pretty good. But I got my Christmas tree. I'm going to go. Oh, I forgot about these lights. These lights, these are the icon lights. Really good. Highly recommend. They're super bright. Let me turn one on. I think that one's charged. Yeah, look how much of a difference that makes. Oh, and my Summit Racing fan, turbo fan. Really cool. We got our bits over here. There's stuff I keep finding that I forgot to talk about. Magnets. And then on the side right here, we got glove holder, paper towel holder, our light. We got our light stand up there. So, I mean, that's basically it for the toolbox tour. Well, guys, uh, that's basically it for this video. Let us know what you thought about this video, what you think about our toolboxes, what you would do different with the organization. I like it. I'm super thankful that all, we have these things. Uh, shout out to God because without him, we'd have none of this. And guys, remember, anything is possible because you got to dream big. It don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little. And I'll dream big because I serve a big God. So, guys, comment down below what you thought. Let us know what you want to see in the next video. We got some epic con car content coming up next video. So comment down below and let us know. Share, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Peace.